everybody, my name is Ashley Hay. I'm a mixed media artist and I love using Powtex art supplies in my artwork. So a question I actually get asked a lot is what is Powtex? Powtex Ultimate Medium is fantastic for painting, sculpture and any art object that you can think to create. The reason it is so great is because of its versatility. Now, what it actually is, is it comes pre-prepared. It is a liquid sculpting medium that is water-based, making it super, super easy to use. All you need to do is ensure that you stir it well and give the bottle a good shake before use. So for me, the thing that really is the most advantageous, making Powtex Ultimate Medium a must have for the kit of any mixed media artist, is the fact that it is so versatile in terms of application. And no matter who you are and what you do, you basically can use the Powtex art supplies to enhance your artwork. It will adhere to essentially anything porous. So plaster, concrete, fabric, canvas, wood, metal, anything, pretty much except plastic. And even with plastic, there are still solutions. So if you love recycling, you are going to love Powertex because there are so many possibilities in terms of turning old junky things and fabrics and fibres into incredible artworks. So save those t-shirts and gather those materials and start using Powtex with essentially anything. The wonderful thing with it is that it will act as a glue as well as colouring your work. So in terms of painting, it is brilliant to paint with because you can create the most incredible textural layers and textural effects in your artwork, especially when you use some of the art supplies from the Powtex range. Something I have always done for my whole art career is I've always loved to work outside of the square. So for me, when I came across Powtex, I was super excited about actually using it. I remember when someone told me about it, that it was water wash up, weather resistant, non-toxic and environmentally friendly, and it would harden different fibres and fabrics and act like a glue. I could paint with it, sculpt with it, do anything really with it. I, I don't think I slept for about three nights. So in terms of the versatility that it offers as an artist, essentially it enables you to use one product for so many different things. Now it comes in 11 different colours and it behaves a little bit like acrylic paint. So it will dry darker than it actually looks when you put it out. So that is something to bear in mind when you're working with it. So the colours it comes in are transparent, which obviously dries clear. It is fantastic for working with coloured fibres and fabrics where you want to retain the natural colour of the actual objects that you're looking to harden. Before I move on to the other colours, what is important to know with the transparent is that the transparent is not fully waterproof, so you do need to ensure that you actually varnish it before it goes outside, whereas all the colours in the Powtex Ultimate Medium are actually weather resistant, which is just brilliant. So I'm sure, if you're like me, the creative possibilities are starting to tick over they are just endless. There is so much that you can do with this incredible medium. In terms of the colours we have, we have transparent, terracotta, bluish grey, bronze, ivory, black, green, yellow, red, blue and white. So the scope is incredible. The great thing is that they all intermix as well. So you can make a myriad of colours from the simple bases that we've got. You can also mix your acrylic paints or other water-based mediums with the Powertex too. You can mix pigments with it as well. However, I love the pre-mixed colours. The pre-mixed colours are just so vibrant and full of pigment. 
So with the Powtex, the fabulous thing that I've already touched on is that it is actually weather resistant. So this means that you can put your artwork outside if you like. What is important to know about Powtex is that it is thermoplastic, which means it reacts to heat and cold. So heat is actually going to soften it, whereas cold is going to enable it to harden. So if it is very warm weather, and your sculpture is outside, it's really, really important that you have an armature holding the form of your fibres and fabrics. Otherwise, you may find that in the temperature, especially here in Australia, that your sculpture will become distorted. So that is really important to know. Even if you're making a piece with wearable art, which I love, uh, where you are putting your piece under theatre lights, this is still very, very important to bear in mind. The implications for working with the Powertex, bearing in mind that it is thermoplastic, is that in the heat it is going to dry faster, in the colder weather it is going to dry slower. So the heat will really accelerate your drying time. The other thing is, if when you begin working with it, it is a little bit hard to stir. It is fantastic to just allow your Powtex to warm a little. So you could put it out in the sun for uh, an hour, or you could sit it in a hot tub of warm water to enable it just to heat up a little, and you only have to do that for a few minutes, and it will actually make it a lot easier to stir. In terms of working conditions, you want to work with it over 10 degrees. In its liquid form, it doesn't like frozen temperatures, so you want to store it in a dry room temperature environment. The other fantastic thing about the Powtex Ultimate Medium is that it has been awarded the AP seal of approval, which gives you great assurity that you can actually work safely with the Powtex Ultimate Medium with children as well as adults. Powtex Ultimate Medium comes in three different sizes, 500 grams, one kilo and five kilos. If you would like to learn other tips and tricks regarding beginning with Powtex and getting started and everything you need to know, I've done another video which you may like to watch called Beginning with Powtex and that will give you all the tips and tricks you need to get started with this wonderful medium. I love working with it. I have worked with it for many, many years now, over 10 years and I still love experimenting and working with this incredible medium. To learn more about Powtex, you can go to the Powtex website or if you'd like some online tutorials, go to Ashley Hay Art Academy where you'll find many different workshops that you can actually dive right into online. So to cover a few key points, what do I love about Powtex? Why is it a must have for mixed media artists everywhere? The sky is the limit with Powtex. You really are truly only limited by your own creative imagination in terms of what you can do with this wonderful art medium. So power on with Powtex. Enjoy creating.